This is what my room used to look like. This is what my room looks like now. Today we are doing, oh, if you're new here, hi, I'm Pamela. Welcome back to another day in my life that I'm filming for you. Today's video is my room tour video. If you haven't already seen my room makeover video, the link is in the description. Go ahead and watch that first. Okay, let's get started. So this is the first area of my room. This is where the front door is. Obviously you can see this is just, um, what is this? It's like a picture frame. I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I have to have it. I love the bronzy goldish kind of hardware on it. But more importantly, I just liked what it said. Choose happy and laugh often. I really resonated with that because I think that a lot of people assume that I'm happy all of the time, but that's not the case. I, I have to choose to be happy. But yeah, I like that because it, it reminded me that I have the option to be happy. I went and printed a bunch of these type of affirmations that I have like across my entire room and my closet. Um, you can read them if you want to, but they're kind of personal and really only make sense to me. This is my pin collection. I mean, <laughs> pretty self-explanatory. That's my collection of pins. I have more, but these are some of my favorites that I wanted to put on display. I actually have a pin video you can go watch if you want to. It's in the description. You can go check it out. Um, and then right below it is my Yamaha piano, which is so cute. I love this piano. I'm sitting down, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sitting down. Um, but I love this piano. This piano is from the 80s, actually. I guess you could say it was a hand-me-down piano, but I kind of just took it. She's in New York, and I was like, can I have your piano? And she was like, no. And I was like, I'm just going to take it. And now I have it. You know, I used to <laughs> I used to hate it because it's so, like, it's broken, and I had to tape up parts of it. You can see down there, but... I don't know, I kind of like it even more that it's like slightly broken and slightly damaged. I don't even care, I like it. It works, it does what I need it to do, and it makes me happy, and I genuinely think it's like kind of cute, aesthetically. It's the next area of my room. This is my clothing rack. I got this from Ikea, Avi. Um, really not much to say. I put clothing on here. There's little butterflies. I have butterflies hidden throughout my room. Guess how many I have in my room. That is just a picture that I got from Hobby Lobby. Here is where I put my shoes. Um, that's a backpack. If you look close enough, you'll know that it says the words Dan and Phil on it. You've probably seen this backpack once or twice around me. It's my Dan and Phil backpack and I love it because Dan and Phil signed it. Yes, they did. My kings. I love... <laughs> we won't talk about Dan and Phil but I love them. Next is, we can say hello to my feet. Say hello to Anastasia as well, and my feet, okay. Anyway, this is, these are vines and some string lights that I put up, and that's my window. This is my bed and my foot and my cat once again. You mind if we come up on the bed, Anastasia? I can come on the bed, okay. Okay, come on. How do I sound so old when I did that? Hi. Yeah, you're a good girl, aren't you? Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl and your friend's good too? Okay, how about we start um, here? So yeah, I sleep here like this. I'll show you how I sleep. I sleep like this right here. And so this is what I see when I'm sleeping. And yeah, um, as you can see there, those are that's dust and cookie crumbs because yes, I eat cookies on my bed like a Neanderthal. And then that's a reflection of me. Oh, hi, I'm not wearing any makeup. All right, I'm gonna get up from this position. Actually, before I get up from this position, I wanna show you what's underneath here. That's my humidifier. I have some more crystals tucked away in here. This is my jewelry box. This is, what is, oh, this is a, I won, no, 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 I participated in a model Arab League. If you don't know me, I'm actually kind of a nerd, and I like politics, and Model United Nations, and Model Arab League is actually the vice president of the organization at my university for a while, and yeah. But enough about that stuff. Who cares about that stuff? Let's talk about the jewelry box. Let's open up the jewelry box, okay. It's probably really dirty. There's nothing in here. I just have random crap in here. I have like a bunch of, what are these? Oh, these are <laughs> some of the coins that I have. Hairpins. I have a ring. I have some of my favorite. Oh my goodness, I love, this was something, this is a bracelet that a friend of mine, she went to Morocco many years ago, like I was in high school. She went to Morocco 
Can we focus this camera? And she brought this back, and I still have it. I think it's really pretty. Um, and it kind of matches my whole <laughs> namaste theme, you know? Um, and then these are little coins that I have not been able to get rid of. What is this? Oh, it's a pound! It's a British pound! Oh, okay. This must have been from when I was in England. Ha! <laughs> Haven't gotten rid of that yet. Cool. Focus! Focus, camera! There we go. Okay. Um, I don't know. Random stuff in here. A uh, necklace that says P. More random junk. I have, like, some euros in here. Who cares? Just a bunch of random stuff in here. Let's close this. Okay, and here I have my Google Home. I have more crystals. I have Kieran and Shipka because my room needs to be filled with Kieran and Shipka. I have my Polaroid camera here. Oh my goodness. This is my bicycle playing cards. Oh my god, let's play with this really fast. Wait, let's play with this really fast. So these playing cards, oh hi, look at you, front row seat at my boobs. These are so old, like you can see how kind of like retro or like vintage they are. Did you know that you could actually use these as a form of divination? So they work kind of like tarot cards if you want them to. My grandmother loves to give me things. And this was one of the first things that she started giving me like a really long time ago, a really long time ago. I don't know why I'm doing this right now. Okay, <laughs> back to the video. Um, this is another little affirmation. Remember to put things in their proper place because this bitch does not remember to do anything like that ever. Um, I keep my charger here for my phone. This is a selenite candle holder. I don't know. I use it to charge my crystals. I think it's really nice. This is big rose quartz. I have different crystals here. Oh, I got this in Vegas at the Vidara Hotel. The, the Espa. When you do, when you purchase like the full package thing with them, they take you into like this room and there's like stones and water and you're like, pick a stone. Write something that you want on it and then leave it here or take it with you. And I was like, okay. And so I wrote down happiness because it's, it's literally all I ever want. I have some plants that are fake. I have this thing, it turns on. Oh, look at that. If you haven't already subscribed, maybe you should. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram, well, I'm just at Pam Ashwood on Instagram. Which wall should we start with? This wall or this wall? This wall or this, this way? Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you nauseous there. This is the favorite film, but I wish I could speak properly. This is my favorite film of actual all freaking time. I could watch this film 90 times in a row and be happy each time I watch it. I love this film so much. And right above that, to the right, you can't see it too well, but it's just a picture of Sabrina and Salem because if you can't tell by the picture right below it, I have an obsession with Sabrina. I love Sabrina. I love Karen and Shipka. I love the show so much. Um, and then there's Lana Del Rey, who, if you don't know, is my actual musical soulmate. Over there, if you see the, the person in the yellow wig, that's Julian Solomita. I love Julian Solomita. Those, the pictures right above and below are of their Twitch stream. I watch their Twitch stream every, pretty much every time, not pretty much, I would say I watch their stream about 98% of the time. So maybe there's an off day where I fall asleep <laughs> before they start streaming and then I don't watch them. But most of the time, if you're looking for me in the, the late night hours, I'm on Twitch and I'm watching them. Below that, or actually next to that is a song I wrote. It's called Live. Maybe one day you guys will be able to hear it. I don't know. I don't know, I have a ton of songs. I have a lot of songs that I should probably put on to the channel, but I get embarrassed easily and I, I have insecurities when it comes to my music because I don't, I can't really play instruments very well and I'm kind of a perfectionist sometimes. Well, when it comes to music, I tend to be perfectionist, you know, I'm my biggest critic. I tend to not want to put anything out unless it's the absolute best that I can make it. And even then, you know, I'm like, I can't put this out because it's not as good as other people's stuff. But I'm slowly but surely, I feel like getting to the, to the point where I can allow myself to be creatively 
expressive on YouTube without feeling like I should be better. Let's go to this wall now. Oh, we finally moved walls, look at me, okay. This is also one of my favorite films ever. This is called You Can't Take It With You. I, um, when I was a kid, was a huge Jimmy Stewart fan, um, and I watched like all of his films. I had the most giant crush on him as a kid, so I, I don't know. This is my favorite film that he was in. This is my G-Wagon, because you know, G-Wagon, G-Wagon, G-Wagon. To be honest, it's my dream car because I want an SUV but I want a Mercedes, and this is the only thing that they have that looks like what I want, and therefore I want a G-Wagon. I just want a Mercedes because it reminds me of like good childhood memories, and it makes me feel nice and safe, and it's a brand that I just, I really do trust and care about. Like, I remember going to Park Place as a kid, which is so silly because it's just a car dealership, but I remember going and just feeling so nice and like, Feeling like I was just in the most like luxurious place ever. I like Mercedes, I like the brand, and so I want their G-Wagon Beach one day. One day, I wanna have a G-Wagon. This is my map. Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a map and I have it, okay. This is a picture of a crown. I like it because it reminds me of Hades and Persephone. Like, I think of this as Persephone's crown, like when, Hades took her to the underworld to be coronated as the queen of the underworld. He placed this beautiful black crown onto her head. As you can see by my room, I love flowers. I like greenery. I love feeling like I'm living in a jungle. I like windows and open space. I also really like dark things. My favorite holiday is Halloween. I love being spooky. I've always kind of wrestled with those two parts of myself, like the part of me that is very bubbly and happy and into florals and into sunshine and roses. And then the other part of me that is just kind of fascinated with darkness and death and cemeteries. I've always kind of wrestled with my light and dark side. Anyway, that's Sabrina. Um, do I need to keep explaining to you my obsession with Sabrina? This is a song by London Grammar called Wasting My Young Years. This is another song lyric. Oh, this is by Florence and the Machine. I love Florence Welch. I do have a morning routine and a bedtime routine, which can be kind of weird to some people. Why do you have that like written on your wall? To be completely honest, I need, I need to be reminded to do these things. If I'm not reminded to eat, I won't do it. If I'm not reminded to drink water, I'm not gonna do it. And that is embarrassing to admit, but it is the truth and it is something that I, I, I do struggle with every day. It's something my counselor recommended to me that I should start a routine. When you are, um, when you're in a state of depression or you're depressed or you have some type of like mental um, illness, it can be very difficult to do these things. And so having a routine, having it written down is a great way to remind yourself to do those things and to like motivate you to do them. Let's move on, let's move on. Oh, let's go to my desk, I suppose. Well, this, this is not a spawn for Oreo, by the way. I just am <laughs> obsessed with Oreos. This is my computer. This is where you guys are. This is an amethyst crystal. It's like a cute little desk. I just have stuff on it, I don't know. I pulled some cards for this video. I would suggest pausing the video and reading one of these cards because they'll probably help one of you. And then I have my selenite tower here. I've got some of my oracle cards here. Um, put that away. Put that away. All right. Um, that's like a earring. It's random stuff. We go through what's in my drawer. So top drawer, I've got comb, some essential oils, eucalyptus, blah blah blah. I've got my English to French dictionary in here. More essential oils, a pen. My journals are in here. What's in here? What's in here? Ah, oh, Dan and Phil's in here. Oh my God, I love them so much. And then more books, crystal book, spirit guide book, piano book. Over here is, I keep my backpack over there. And my mirror, my mirror, huh? This is me currently. As you can see, I am obviously 
don't have any makeup on. I'm not dressed very well. I'm dressed for bed. It's the middle of the night. Anastasia, can I have five minutes where you're not the center of attention? Thank you. <laughs> Hi, hello. More Sabrina, obviously. I keep all my tarot cards, tarot decks, oracle cards in here. My sage is in there. Here, I just have my flower crown because hello, Persephone. That is Tessa Ray. If you don't know who Tessa Ray is, she's like my favorite artist right now. Well, she has been for like the past two, three years now. I've really, I don't know. I just, she's such an amazing artist, you guys. And she's so underground. And I just want her to blow up so badly, you know, like buy her music, stream her music. Follow her on social media. I love the XX so much. There is Roy Blair. I love <laughs> All we know is Falling by Paramore. Oh my god. Sleeping with Sirens, man. This is such a classic, like, emo album. I was, like, emo, but I also wasn't. I was just sad. And so I was kind of emo, but I wasn't into the aesthetic. You know, I was just really freaking sad. And then, of course, my favorite retired emos, Dan and Phil, down here. Wow, that's so pretty. I love that. I like this new like image for August. It's so pretty. It's so pleasant to look at. I kind of want to just stare at it for a while. BRB, I'm going to stare at this for a while. This is a rug that I have on my floor. Currently, there's a Adidas sports bra on it. Hell yeah, beach. What's on this wall, beach? Okay, my Polaroid. This is my Polaroid wall. Sabrina, um, here is all the necklaces that I own. I'll actually talk to you about these necklaces if you want. This is my moonstone. This is a necklace that I made at a little shop, a little um, jewelry shop in Toronto called Frederick Prince. When I mean I made it, I mean I made this thing from scratch. I picked out the hardware, um, like the hardware, I picked out the jewels that we use, the real like Amazonite, the faux pearls, I picked out these and this and all of it. Up here, I have um, my little dangly necklaces. This is opal in the, the shape of a moon. This is a ring that I, was given to me by someone that I care for deeply. It's a locket and a ring and it was given to me um, on the day of my mother's funeral and so I keep it with me. Um, and then I have this little Paris Eiffel Tower because j'adore Paris. And one day I will visit Paris. I will go there and I will see the city on the streets and I will eat the croissants. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. I'm so annoying. All right. And then I have this little board here that says, oh, what, wait, what, what does it, what does it say? <gasps> subscribe? Pa subs Maybe you should subscribe. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please, please subscribe. I see you guys watching it, but you don't subscribe. You watch the video, but you don't subscribe. But if you want more videos like this and just more of like me, if you want me, if you think I'm cute or something, you should subscribe and hit the like button. Turn on my post notifications, as always, so that you are always aware of whenever I post a new video, which is always gonna be from now on, on Mondays. I'm gonna, I'm really gonna try to be super consistent. I really am. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you in my very next video. It has been solid. Bye-bye.